Hi guys, good morning. This video is the problem. Uh, minimum operations to make all array elements equal. It was an interesting problem, but a kind of a easy medium problem, but interesting one. Let's see how. Uh, in this problem, it says that you are given a nums, array nums consisting of positive integers. Okay, let's keep it side. You are also given an integer array called as queries. It's interesting. Of size m, cool. For the ith query, you want to make all the elements of nums equal to the query i. Let's say if my ith query has an element, let's say 5. So, I have to make all the elements of num equal to 5. It is what a query has to do. Cool. You can perform the following operations of the array any number of times. And the operation looks something like this. Increase or decrease an element of an array by 1. Now, the operation we know, we have to increase or decrease an element of an array by 1. The result we know, what is the result? We have to make the whole array nums equal to what? Equal to the query element. Cool. Now return an answer, an array answers of size m, where answer of i, first, so basically for every query, I have to return, like return an answer. So the length of query equal to the like length of answer, we have to return. Minimum number of operations to make all the elements of nums equal to query i. The operation, the ultimate aim was for a query i, I have to make my nums equal to my query i. Now to transform this, it is saying the answer, the one answer for that one query would be nothing but minimum operations. Let's mark this word minimum operations. So basically, ultimately we know we have this nums for one query. I have to transform this whole nums into what? Into every element looking like query of i, which means if the query was 5, so I need to transform every element to 5. I have the operation I can perform is reduce or increase. Reduce, basically decrease or increase the value by 1. Cool. But we want minimum possible. So, if we look at it, minimum number, minimum number can be best achieved. See, you have some numbers which are less. In this numbers, in this array nums, let me let maximize it. In this array nums, some elements are less than 5. Let's example, let's take an example of query as 5. Some elements are less than 5. Some elements are more than 5. Right. Now, I have to apply minimum operations. Operations are minimum, which means that I have to either increase or decrease. So, if I do something like this, if I have to, let's say, if I have the number 6 and I have to make it to 5, if I ch ch just increase that number to 7 and then reduce it to, let's say, 4 and then increase it to 5, is it the minimum operations? Operations are one operation, one operation goes here, a th three operation goes here, one operation goes here. Is it the minimum operation? No, right. How about directly transferring that 6 to 5? Only one operation needed. So every ele every big element, which means every element which is more than 5, I'll just subtract 1 from it and directly reach to 5. Every less element, which is less than 5, let's say 1, I'll just add 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which means I will add 1 4 times and it is the minimum amount of 1's required to add my 1 to a 1. Let's say, okay. Let's say, let's have a 2. So operations required are 3. I'll add my 1 three times in this particular two to reach to five and it is the minimum you will say because ultimately i'm just directly reaching to five i'm not moving around and plus minus plus minus i'm just directly using a plus to reach from two to five my ultimate aim was to make this nums of i of two as five because it is a query so you will agree that to get the minimum operations either one thing i will do i'll just make all the smaller elements 2x by adding one and all the larger elements I'll bring to x by subtracting a 1. It is the mini operations required to actually reach to a point where my whole nums of i becomes equal to my query, which means all elements become to a, a query of 5. So, um, what you think? 
वन थिंग यू नो ओके हाउ वील अचीव द मिनिमम ऑपरेशन सो दिस मिनिमम पार्ट इज ओवर फ्रॉम द पिक्चर बिकॉज वी नो हाउ विल हाउ वी विल अचीव मिनिमम ऑपरेशन मिनिमम इज बाय इंक्रीजिंग ऑल दी स्मॉलर एलिमेंट्स टू फाइव एंड बाय रिड्यूसिंग ऑल दी बिगर एलिमेंट्स टू फाइव विच मीन्स क्वेरी ऑफ फाइव नाउ लेट्स सी if we have one query uh, and for every query we want to actually make it make every element 2 5 i think that the sound is not disturbing you guys yeah it is not so what we have to do is that we have this query so for every query we have to return the answer which means that one option is for every query i'll just go on to every element for every query q1 q2 q3 q4 i'll just go on to every element so basically i'll just go on to um i1 i2 i3 and i'll just see okay i'll just reduce it to 5 like i'll just make it to 5 i'll just make it to 5 i'll just make it to 5 5 means a query of 1 i'll just make it to q1 i'll just make it to q q1 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 so basically i'll do it for every element which means for every query which means when i five queries i just move on to every element which is again when i five it's when i 10 it can't be possible one thing i'm pretty sure i have to go on to every query to find its answer so basically if i want to optimize basically if i want to actually run my algorithm in my run time so i have to find this operations i know that i can achieve minimum operations how but operations number of operations i need to achieve it in either o of 1 or o of log n else it won't be possible so how to do it big question is for every query how to find the operations why and say operations and not new operations because minimum i know how i will achieve it by reducing higher elements to q1 or the query of i and slower elements to q of i it is the minimum operations required but what are the number of operations i need to get it in o of 1 or o of log n let's see the example very quickly for minimum operations we have let's say let's let's have this example nums was a 3168 my query was one so one thing i showed you previously also all the elements less than one i'll just bring it to one here i'll see okay no elements is less than one only one is there so i'll just bring okay one is for sure at one one see we have to bring every element to one but one one is already one so operation is quite a zero elements which are more than one which are 3 6 and 8 i'll just bring reduce that 3 6 and 8 to one 3 6 and 8 all reduced to one number of operations required are 2 5 7 7 in total 14 operations 14 plus 0 in total 14 is my answer so to make all the elements of this nums equal to one operations required are 14 by just or i saw all the elements which are less than 1 which are no element here and all the elements which are more than 1 which means 3 6 and 8 i just reduce all that to 1 so uh, 3 minus 1 6 minus 1 8 minus 1 i just get that 2 5 7 14 14. let's see query number 2 which is having a 5 so i got a 5 now i now i need to make every of nums of i equal to 5 which means that if i have this nums of i i want to make it to nums of a query of 5 i will see what all elements are smaller than my 5 uh, which are 1 and 3 i will reduce it to 5 elements which are higher than 5 which is 6 and 8 i will just make it to 5 reduce it to 5 and increase it to 5 as simple as that if it is a 3 then i need to make it to 5 so a 3 to 5 operations required are two a two additions which means 1 plus 1 1 to 5 operations required are four operations required are six for addition 6 minus 5 and 8 minus 5 operations required are one of 1 and 3 four subtractions in total operations are 10 which are for sure the minimum operations because ultimately we are just reducing and increasing sorry increasing and reducing now you know okay aryan um but it's just a dry run how would it increase or reduce our complexity how you saw one thing what happened when five entered the picture it just split the array into smaller and larger elements it is the magic 
सो बेसिकली टू एक्चुअली नो ओके हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर स्मॉलर देन माई फाइव एंड हाउ मेनी एलिमेंट्स आर बिगर देन माई फाइव फर्स्टली आई कैन अप्लाई अ बाइनरी सर्च फॉर श्योर यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विच आर स्मॉलर देन अ नंबर यू यूज द लोअर बाउंड and if you want to know the number of elements higher use the upper bound if you don't know i'll just highly recommend to go and watch binary search video it is standard binary search that okay to find the elements which are smaller or higher than a particular element but for this i need to firstly sort this array to apply binary search your array should be sorted your array should be sorted so i have to sort it now with this i can get one thing for sure For this query of i, I can just land at, the, at this location. I just know. Okay, now the elements which are left are for sure which I need to increase. So basically, all this one and three it needs to increase to five five. So operations required are a five into number of elements which is two. Number of elements are two. So basically, I just have a mathematical formula. Okay, how my if elements are two, so all these elements will be increased to five. So Five into two minus existing value, which is one plus three. It will give me the number of operations to actually transform both these numbers one three to five. If I have this number six eight, I want to transform to five. Operations required are reduce so six plus eight minus five into number of elements which are two, which is five into two. By this, I can get okay the. In total number of operations, which is from left and from right, but ah, oh, but ah, uh, did it reduce the complexity? Is it okay? I just okay. Just you said that okay. By this binary search, you will find okay what all elements I need to reduce, what all elements I sorry, what all elements I need to increase, what all to reduce. You just got it by log of n. very fine but to get number okay by to but but to get to this particular operation how will you find it okay it is o of 1 you can just easily you know like know the number of elements which are in right by log n itself by this binary search itself and 5 is nothing but the query itself but how will you get this sum you have to get this sum of a range in what at max o of log n or o of 1 How will you get it? Tell me. Here comes the picture of prefix sums. By using prefix sums, we can get the range sum in O of one time, and this we can use a prefix sum to get the range sum in O of one time. Which means that, let's see, if we have, if we make this prefix sum, which is zero, one, four, ten, and eighteen, it is just basically adding every element. Which means zero plus one get a four, one plus three get a four. Zero zero plus one get a one. One plus three get a four. Four plus six get a ten. Uh, plus eight get a eighteen. It is how my prefix sum works. Now, if I have got this prefix sum, my main task was to find the sum of this range, which is nothing but eighteen minus four, which means prefix of this particular index, which is four. How it is how prefix sum works? You just get this value, which is eight. If you want to find the sum of this range. You get the value at this point. You you get the prefix sum value at this point, which is the last point, and the last minus one point, and you get the value, which is eighteen minus four. It is fourteen. It is the range of this particular range, value of this particular range. Why in this case, if you want to find this particular value, I just land it here, which is four minus the value, which is the range l minus one, which is zero. So I get a four as the sum of this range by prefix sum. And yeah, ultimately by just moving in deep, 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 we were able to find actually our algorithm in O of n log n. Basically, by see, I just get this prefix sum in O of one. I just get this particular value range. Like means means after this element which is q of i whole part, I just get the whole operations required in O of one. Whole operations required in O of one. And to get this particular number of elements, it's just O of log n, which is lower bound and upper bound. To get this location, basically it is related. If you get this location, you can easily get this number of elements, which are more or less. It is actually a binary search, which is O of log n. So ultimately, 
is just o of n log n which means o of m log n why m m for every query for every query i'm just using a binary search on n elements which means log n thus it is just o of m log n and i am super good so basically what we did was we find number of operations which were actually minimum because we choose greedy way to get the minimum elements we converted lesser elements to q of i we converted more elements to q of i to convert we find the bind, we find the location of that q of i in that whole nums of i by using a binary search because we know all the left elements will be converted to a q of i all the right elements will be converted to q of i by reducing by increasing by prefix sum i just found what is the sum to actually get the number of operations required to bring that sum to my actual q of i sum and it is a whole thing that i can just bring down my elements to q of i for every and the complexity is o of m log n m for every query and log n for every operation of binary search i hope that you guys understood it let's see those, let's see the code pretty quickly it's pretty easy uh, firstly we sorted as we know binary search can be applied only on the sorted array we sorted it now we have to make a prefix sum because we need to actually find the range sum so standard way of making prefix sums okay we just get a prefix sum array which is n plus one because initially we have to keep a zero also now i just move on now here you see i just added a zero in the beginning of my nums why firstly it is already sorted so one thing okay i need to add in the beginning itself and as you will see that okay nums of i it is more than my one so zero is always the first element which will occur but why i did this is because i just apply a binary search on my nums and the corresponding sum i'll get from prefix my prefix is n plus one element because it has a zero in the beginning which is a zero in the beginning because i trade from i plus one so a prefix sum has n plus one elements while a prefix has n, n, n elements i'm applying binary search on pref on nums and seeing the corresponding value in prefix sums to get the range sum so it's good that okay i just make both of them as n plus one elements is the reason i just added a minimum element at the start itself to actually make both of them identical zero zero now i'll just actually apply c for every query for every query i just go on and find okay what is the lower index l index is lower index l ids is lower index firstly i just see if i have this query i just go and look by applying stl you can have in collections also you can use anything i just see what's the lower bound like but you can easily see to get the prefix sums to get the prefix sums i just landed on the, on this particular range my lower bound is landing me on this value on this value right my lower bound for five is landing me at six but i want to land at my three so i just hit a minus one minus one here because lower bound will land me here my ldx needs to be at three and for my prefix sums it is nothing but a prefix see l lids i have got its index lidx prefix sum is nothing but my q into number of elements number of elements is nothing but lidx in total the number of elements in from index 0 to lidx is nothing but sorry index 1 to lidx here it's a 0 1 2 number of elements in total are 2 because 0 is what we added it's not in there cool so in total it will be q into lidx i have to subtract what is the sum what is the sum of this range it's a prefix sum of lidx minus prefix sum of 0 as i showed you earlier also for my uidx my uidx which means my upper bound will land at my location right here and i also want the location right here itself to actually get my range sum so i'll just do a prefix sum from particular element which is n minus one up till this uidx minus one because ultimately i just have to get the prefix sum from this range i have to do a you see uidx is here so uidx minus one will be here so i do a n minus one minus uidx minus one so n minus one minus uidx minus one will be the range sum and what's the achievable value which is q 
number of elements in that range is it's n minus u i dx as simple as that so i just apply both these operations which means on left and uh, on right and i just get my answer and i just push in my answer so i hope that you guys like it if yes then do the like button and see you in my video goodbye take care